Hey Collective Bros, it's me Shinobi Nando, welcome to another What's in the Box! The video series where I tell you what's in the box does it exactly what it says on the tin. That's right, this is my video series where I break down what you can get where, how much it's going to cost you, is there any freebies or bonuses you can pick up, and of course, my opinions as a collector of which one I think is the best. Today we're doing a bit of a strange one, today we are doing uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD Remaster. Now there technically isn't a collector's edition for this, but if you're one of those that normally just pick up the standard edition, this is a very good video for you. There is a lot to talk about, and uh, some kind of weird, some kind of weird that I notice, but we'll get to that after we break down what you can pick up alongside your copy of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD Remake. Alongside the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD Remake are these exclusive Joy-Cons, one representing the Hylian Shield and the other one the Master Sword, to be used in conjunction with the game's built-in motion controls. Also available to pre-order alongside the game is this amiibo of Zelda and the Lovebird. Now this amiibo will unlock fast travel inside of the game, allowing you to return to the sky or back to the ground at the exact point you use the amiibo. For pre-ordering the standard version of the game at most retailers in Europe and Oceania, you can net yourself is this exclusive steelbook available at Dutch retailer Game Mania, German retailers Media Mark and Saturn, and most European Amazon sites. Also, most retailers are giving away this Hyrule Seal keyring alongside the steelbook. This is available alongside the steelbook at most Amazon EU sites, However, I found the cheapest place was Shop2 at £42. Seemingly exclusively here in the UK at Game, you can also net yourself this Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword t-shirt. Sadly, it only comes in one size, which is large. In North America, starting with Canada, pre-ordering from Microplay will get you this exclusive Master Sword keyring. And for Americans, sadly, the only thing I can currently find is this Tech Decal, which I assume are decorative stickers from Best Buy. So there you have it. There is a bit of controversy around that amiibo and fast travel being locked to a physical piece of DLC. Some people have pointed out that it is one of the larger amiibos people that like collecting amiibos anyways, and it's possibly something you would pay for uh, as a DLC if it wasn't in amiibo form, at least some, this way you're getting something physical. I don't really agree with that. I think if they're going to add fast travel, they should have brought it to the base game as part of the remaster, they, you know, part of the quality of life changes. I guess they needed something for the amiibo to do, but I, I don't know. That doesn't, doesn't sit well with me. However, I'm a sucker for... Zelda Amiibos, so I will be picking it up. They're like the only Amiibos I collect, guys. Literally, I have the Skyward Sword one. I have, you can see in the background there, there's a, a few others. I'm too far gone. Now, I'm really sorry to our North American friends. If there is anything new, I will either update the description or if it's substantial like Monster Hunter Rise was, I will make another video. Speaking of Monster Hunter Rise, I do find it kind of strange in Nintendo Europe made this kind of like build, build a bear or build your own collector's edition kind of approach. Just, just hear me out. If you think about what came in the Monster Hunter Rise collector's edition, uh, and I did actually unbox the Monster Hunter Rise collector's edition. If you want to check that out, there'll be a link somewhere. That was essentially a, well, in, in Europe anyways, a steelbook, a pin, some art and the amiibo so do you see where i'm going here if you kind of took the pre-order bonus key ring and steel book and t-shirt and took the amiibo and kind of mashed them together you'd get yourself a collector's edition don't get me wrong this is much more beneficial for those that just want to get the standard edition you're going to get a lot of cool extras, absolutely free. Sadly, that t-shirt will never fit me, especially if it's European sizes. What can I say? I'm a big boy. I mean like round or, or wide, you know what I mean? So you can kind of guess, I went for the one at game where I get the t-shirt, the key ring, and the steel book. However, I would say go somewhere like shop two. If you don't care about the t-shirt, that seems to be the cheapest. It's cheaper than everywhere else I saw by at least eight pounds here in the UK. And I might even pick up those joy cons to, you know, have the sword and the shield. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know what I'm doing here, but yeah, that'd be kind of cool. They're obviously going to be thematic for all Zelda games, not just Skyward Sword. We have Breath of the Wild 2 coming up still, and I'm sure that will probably have some kind of 
full-on collector's edition for those of you wanting something more substantial or bigger. And again, our friends in North America, I know you only get the tech decals. I'm not even sure what those are, like stickers or something. If there's any updates, I will include that in the description or I'll link you guys at the end card to the video where I do an update if they add anything more. Nintendo and retailers are notorious for this. They did this to us with Monster Hunter Rise. They added like a whole bunch of extra things right at the last minute. And if you stumbled across this video and thought it was the unboxing, Unboxing. Sorry, but I will include a link in the description or the end card when that video is uploaded. So hello future people check that out Hopefully I have a really good skit or gag for you guys Sadly, this is just my breakdown series But if you enjoyed it or you found it helpful give this video a like don't forget to leave me a comment What you think about the amiibo controversy or if you're gonna pick it up? Did you find this video helpful? Did I save you some money maybe? Make you aware about some cool freebies you weren't aware of? And as always, subscribe because I'm gonna be doing more What's in the Boxes, more collector's editions of boxings and skits, more game reviews, just, just kind of more videos in general, really. That's kind of how this YouTube thing works. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.